What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. Shark Tank, the reality show where businesses and entrepreneurs go and pitch their ideas to investors. Uh, and you kind of gives you a glimpse into kind of what it's like to run a business, to grow a business, to deal with investors, to pitch uh, your business, to sell it. Uh, it's super interesting. I've watched a few episodes back in the day. I've never had ABC uh, or Hulu up until recently. That's where I watched it on Hulu. Uh, I've been binging just whatever. I have no idea what season I'm on. Chris Saka has been a, a guest investor uh, on a bunch of episodes. Uh, so I don't think I'm on the newest seasons. But uh, still, it doesn't matter. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy it because it, it's there's like a whole other part of what I need to kind of wrap my head around to become successful. And that is definitely more the business side to turn what I'm doing into more of a business. Uh, and I don't really know how to do that, uh, you know, in a lot of ways. But I, with this show, it's helping me understand and break things down in a way to where I have much more of an idea of what I'm doing now just watching the show than before uh which is different because i make you know i paint you go go buy my artwork over at inspiredisorder.com but there's a lot of different ways to sell stuff uh selling it online getting it in stores all this kind of stuff so for me it's like i want to my goal is just to make art and put it on my website and immediately it gets sold or to have collectors to wear you know, I just sell directly and don't, you know, you know, not everything even sees my website. But I'd love to sell directly to either people who want to buy art, you know, maybe just direct, you know, decorate their house. Uh, if people I want to sell to who want to collect my art. Uh, I also, you know, want to sell to people that curate art, that do interior design or that buy art for other collectors. Uh, you know, so there's a, a lot of different kind of markets or different avenues to which I want to sell to people. Then there's always going into a gallery or doing pop-up shows, which I've done those in the past, but just a lot more overhead with that. You make, like, if you go in a gallery, they take a huge percentage, and I'd rather have more control and get more of the money and handle it all myself. Um, that's why I've held off of, you know, taking the art that I have made to a gallery, which... I have, there's a few galleries I could, you know, know people that run the gallery or, you know, know people that participate uh, that are part of, uh, that are already showing their work through galleries. So I have those options to, per but I don't want to do, I don't want to go that route. I don't want to go that route if I don't have to. So I'm trying to build it. And for sure, my biggest stumbling block is marketing. I need to understand how to market and put more money into marketing my product uh, on that end. Because the creation of it and the growth of what I'm trying to do with my art, on that end, I'm locks, locked in. Um, and then with this show, how the podcast relates to all of it, this is just so people can get to know me. I enjoy talking about different subjects. So this is almost like an ancillary extra piece of, of content which if the numbers on the podcast go up and I get sponsors, that would be another way. But the, the overall, the main goal is to sell my artwork through my website and other products that I design. Um, so this watching Shark Tank is really like, because I'm trying to put myself in the shoes of some of these people. And I'm like, what would I do if I was going in to pitch? Like, how much would I ask for? What do I feel my, which I have no, I have like very few sales. So you know, but I know what my products are, uh, are, and I know that I'm constantly getting better, and I'm constantly doing, pushing myself to do new things. So I don't know. For me, it's it, the, watching the show. I'm constantly, in some ways, stepping in their shoes, but in other ways, just kind of watching it as entertainment because it is fun. It is, you know, seeing people, seeing their lives change, seeing the people that know their shit. Like, they go in, they know what their, their business is valued at, they know why it's valued at that. This is, like, this is the growth we've had, and, like, this is the thing we're doing, and this is the market size. It's, like, all kinds of stuff that I know, have no idea about. But it's super interesting to see people that do know that stuff 
get into it, get into the nitty gritty of it. Um, but yeah, I don't, I wouldn't want to pitch my show. I wouldn't want to. I mean, I'm so far, and to, to compare where I'm at compared to like where these businesses are when they are pitching, because there's so many of them that are already generating sales and already doing things and kind of already have a, a machine that's up and running. It's like I have this machine that I'm up and running, but it's all funded by me, so it's running really slow. It's not like... If I were to pitch to somebody, like, I would need somebody to help me. Like, I would love a business manager so much. Just handle the finances, handle taxes, handle all of the business, legal, all of that shit. Handle all of that shit. I do all of my stuff, and then all of the important money, numbers, percentages, points, royalty, all that stuff, have somebody else so if I would do that, I would be that, and then also probably would the money would be going to getting just high-end supplies, high-end paper, high-end ink, uh, getting the packaging. I want to have like a really high-end look to the packaging. I want everything to be high-end because I'm selling artwork, um, but also marketing, which that would be like because there's I don't know how many artists are doing what I'm doing. I'm sure there are, and I'm sure I you know I could go track them down. Uh, which I do, one of the first things I want to start doing is just doing more research. And it's when it starts slowing down uh, this summer, I'm going to have a lot of opportunities to do research. So this summer I'm hoping to kind of grow and start that, uh, that aspect a little bit more. Um, but yeah, watching Shark Tank, it's just, it's, it's so different from where my mind space is at normally that w when I watch it, I enjoy it's like educational in a way, but like like they're slipping education into like an entertaining kind of format, which I enjoy that. I enjoy like the fix did that. Like you kind of learn a little bit, but it's also fun and entertaining. Um, so, yeah. And it's you know, it's cool to see what, what the reasons why people go in and pitch, you know, whether they do need help with the marketing. It's like, I don't know. I need help. You know, I need to get on QVC and these sharks. They have like they're like good at QVC and like. A lot of the sharks you see what they invest in, you know, so they only invest in things that they have experience investing in a lot of the times, or if they have a personal investment in, like they personally like the product, uh, if they don't like the product or would never use the product, or if it's something out of their scope, um, you know, they bow out. Some of them help the people that are pitching, well, they'll go in and like try and help negotiate down the deal of other sharks. It's fun. It's a fun show. It's weird because it's like so much money is at stake. It's weird how like all the numbers just become like unrealistic. Like, oh, I'm asking for $500,000 for 25% of my company. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. Shark Tank. It's fun, man. That's what I've been binging. It's one of the shows I've been binging uh, lately. Uh, just doing a lot of uh, updating of my website with a bunch of new paintings, actually. So, and just like I'm in this space right now where I'm trying to figure out the what I need to do. So I'm not wasting my time. So I'm not wasting my time, but also so I can start I, just making money. Just start making I need to start... I need to hit the wheels, need to hit the road in much more of a substantial way. And uh, Shark Tank has kind of helped me get in that mind state for whatever, for whatever it's worth. Uh, but that's it for this episode of The Ray Taylor Show. I do it daily, so a new episode comes out every day. Uh, you can subscribe on IGTV and everywhere else podcasts are found. You can binge the full week over in advance over at patreon.com slash Inspired Disorder. There's many more benefits when you become a member over there. InspiredDisorder.com is where you can buy all of my original paintings. All of my artwork is for sale there. At Ray Taylor for me on all social media. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out!